Hello, mister. Thank you for gracing the video with your presence. Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a how-to style video. I'm sure you guys have been noticing maxi skirts are definitely back in. If you were around in the 2000s, this definitely feels like a throwback. Maxi skirts were so big back then and they've definitely made a huge comeback. And specifically today, I am focusing on the denim maxi skirt. I'm actually very excited it's back in. It's like a piece that I had totally forgotten about. But I feel like that's because it was a piece that was like so defining for 2000s fashion that if you wore it any time in like the last 10, 15 years, it just felt kind of dated. So I'm glad that's trending again. And like I said today, I'm gonna be showing you guys five ways to style a denim maxi skirt. So the skirt that I have is from the brand Commence. I had been looking for this specific style for a while now. This denim maxi skirt actually has an asymmetric waist, which is pretty cool. I love a good asymmetric waist. I just feel like it cinches your waist in a little bit more. If you're someone like me who is a little bit straighter through the waist, it gives you more of a defining shape. So when I saw this style, I was like, that's it. That's the denim skirt that I want. And then this one also has a slit down the middle. Again, another aspect that I really love on a denim maxi skirt. And then for this one, it has a raw edge. It is a little bit long on me. I'm 4'11", but basically once I put shoes on and stuff, it's not too, too bad. It still does drag on the floor, so it is better that it has the raw edge because the bottom is going to get a little bit messed up anyway. So it'll just look like it's part of the skirt as I'm wearing it. But if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell, join my little YouTube family. And for everyone watching, please don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment down below whenever you guys engage with my videos like that it lets me know to do more of these types of videos but anyways let's go ahead and get into the first look so just to start here is how the skirt fits you guys don't mind all of the outfits prepped over here on the bed but just to give you guys an idea of what the asymmetric waist looks like like i said it just gives that like v-shape down your waist so that your waist is a little bit more defined and i don't know how well you guys can see the bottom but the skirt is a little bit long on me but it's not too too long so once i start putting shoes on and stuff like that it's definitely something i can still walk in and then again we have the slit down the middle which i love i feel like maxi skirts can sometimes swallow me because I am so short. So whenever there's a slit in it, it helps to make the maxi skirt a little bit more flattering on me because then that way you can see my legs and I don't feel quite as swallowed by the skirt. But for the first outfit, I'm gonna show you guys how I would style this skirt for a casual day. You know, if I'm running errands, going shopping on the weekend, meeting up with someone for lunch or taking Leo to go train, things like that. So. For the top, I'm gonna do this plain t-shirt. This is from the brand Cuts. The quality on their t-shirts is so good. If you guys want like premium basics, Cuts is where it's at. But I love this one because it's not like full white. It's like a beigey off-white, which I personally think is like a fun color. Then for shoes, please don't mind the fact that these are dirty. These have become my walking shoes for Leo and we just went on a hike, but I'm gonna do these New Balances. When they're clean, <laughs> they match this color very perfectly. And these ones are the New Balance 530s. I believe the color is sand. I had to get them through a reseller because this color is like very, very hard to find. But these are literally the comfiest shoes. Like I said, I walk Leo with these, I hike with these. They're just like a great walking shoe that you can be in all day and not feel uncomfortable. So those are the sneakers with this outfit. And then for this outfit, I'm gonna throw on this hat. I love a good baseball cap look. I've explained before, I haven't been wearing them quite as much because of my bangs, because the second I put a hat on, my bangs will get all messed up. But still, every once in a while, I do love a good baseball cap moment. I feel like it's a great way to make a casual outfit look really chic and put together. And then lastly for the bag, I'm gonna go with a crossbody. If I'm wearing this outfit for running errands or like a busy day on the weekend, I'll want a bag that's easy to access. So maybe this coach crossbody it has like two different pockets i can fit so many things in here it's easy to access everything but hi here you go <laughs> i got a visitor sorry you guys can no longer see my shoes but that is the first outfit just very casual comfortable and then easy to walk in and move in all day hi hello mister thank you for gracing the video with your presence so for outfit number two, we're gonna go a little bit more formal. I'm gonna show you guys how I would dress this skirt up. I'm gonna be doing this corset from White Fox. So I feel like you can either tuck it in or out with this. So this is what it looks like tucked in. It's cute, but let's see. Maybe I want to do it tucked out because I do love the dip in the front. Yeah, I feel like either way definitely works. For this one, I'm gonna actually leave it out. And then for shoes with this one, since we're gonna go for a dressier look, I'm gonna go with these nude heeled sandals from Shoe Dazzle. I love these because they have like the flare at the bottom, so it makes it much more comfortable to walk in. And then they have this like fun little gold chain detail. I love it whenever shoes have the flare like this, because then that way you can still wear like a stiletto style heel, but 
if you're going to something where there's like grass or anything like that, you don't have to worry as much about like your heel sinking in or anything. It's definitely cute. I love the pop of gold with this. And then with this corset, I actually kind of am feeling like the hair up for this look. So I'm gonna use this gold claw clip to pull my hair back. Just a quick little twist. I'm so glad that claw clips are back as well because it's like such a fast way to put your hair up and it's like so much less damage than like a slipped back bun. And then to finish off this look, I'm gonna do this white woven bag. If you wanna go a little bit more formal, you can definitely change out the bag for like a black bag and then the shoes for like a darker shoe. But I wanted to do this combination because I feel like this combo can still work for a day or a nighttime type of event. This is definitely an outfit that I would wear like out for date night or something like that. Or this would also be really, really cute if you're attending like a bridal or a baby shower. I feel like it's the right levels of dressy, but still casual and comfy enough that you don't look overdone. Then next, if you want to get really dressy, we're going to get into a little bit of a darker outfit that definitely feels a little bit more formal. Starting off, I'm going to swap out the top for a black tube top. So I love a black denim tube top because I feel like it's just so simple. It can be elegant or it can be dressed down. It really is a blank slate that you can wear a million different ways. But like I said, this outfit is gonna be a little bit more formal. So to dress it up, I'm gonna do these black strappy heels. These are from Ego Shoes. They have a huge platform, which also definitely gives like a 2000s feel as well. So I love the idea of combining these shoes with this skirt. And these shoes are the perfect height for me with this skirt because it's not dragging on the floor at all. You guys can see it's a lot of platform going on. And then since this is an outfit that I would definitely wear more or for like a night event. If we're going out to a nice dinner or going to go see friends for drinks or anything like that, I'll probably need a jacket. So I'm gonna do this oversized leather bomber jacket. This one is old from Fashion Nova, but leather bomber jackets are back in style. So there's a ton out there. I'll link some if you guys are looking for one of these, but I just love how oversized it is. I feel like anytime you add leather to a nighttime outfit, it gives it a little bit of edginess while still looking nice and put together. Then finally for the purse, I'm gonna do my YSL. I'm gonna do it as a shoulder bag because I just feel like it looks a lot more formal when it's shorter, but that is outfit number three and the way that I would personally dress up this denim maxi skirt for a more formal type of event. Then for the next outfit, I'm gonna go for something that you can kind of do for both spring and summer. If it's spring, I would include the jacket. And then if it's summer, you probably don't need the jacket. But I'm gonna start off with this little gray cropped bralette from Amazon. So first off, I love these tops from Amazon. They're so supportive. You definitely don't need a bra with them. They actually, I think, are marketed as like sports bras, but they look like just regular crop tops that you can wear out. You can dress it casual, you can dress it up, just a very versatile piece. And then for this outfit, I'm gonna do just a classic pair of white sneakers. These ones are from She Dazzle. I love a classic white sneaker with this skirt. I think it's just such a great combination. It looks casual, but still really clean and put together. And then if it was the summertime, I would probably just stop here and then just maybe add in a crossbody bag or a bum bag. But if your springs are a little bit cooler and you still need another layer, I would do something like this light brown cropped leather jacket or you could do a cropped denim jacket. Depends on what you have in your closet. But I love the cropped jacket over this. I love any time like I have an outfit where I'm showing like a sliver on my stomach, but then I throw a jacket over it. I just feel like it's such a good combo. It's such a great way to show a little bit of skin while still keeping it relatively, I guess, modest. Not that I'm like trying to dress modest or anything. I would say that this outfit just from the midriff alone wouldn't be considered modest. But if you just didn't want to go too overboard with showing a ton of skin, throwing a cropped jacket over top of your crop top is a great way to do it while still feeling comfortable. But anyways, I love this type of outfit. Again, just like for a casual day out, then meeting someone for lunch. I would also definitely wear this outfit to like a fun activity, like going to the county fair or something like that. Depending on how hot it is, again, I would probably omit the jacket, but it's just like a great basic go-to outfit for pretty much any daytime activity. Then for my last outfit, we're gonna play with a little bit of color. I'm gonna do this long sleeve off shoulder orange crop top from Revolve. I love this one because it crisscrosses in the front. I just think it looks so pretty and flattering when it's on. So I'll go ahead and slip into this. I'm obsessed with this top with this skirt. I mean, blue and orange are complementary colors. So this combo is just perfect. And then for shoes, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a Western vibe just for something fun. I love Western style in the spring and the summer. It's just such a classic style element for the warmer seasons, but these boots are from Shoe Dazzle. As you guys can see, they have a fun Western design, pointy toe, and then they have a bit of a heel. This skirt is so fun with the Western boot peeking out. I love that it's kind of like a little bit of a hidden element. Then lastly on this outfit, I'm gonna add this white bag. This is a dupe for the Bottega cassette brick bag. I got it from Etsy. I'm obsessed with this bag. It's like my everyday go-to bag, but I love the white with this outfit because we do have a lot going on with the blue against the orange. You definitely don't want to do too many like crazy elements with this. Plus we already have another element with the Western boots. So this white bag just kind of like quietly incorporates itself into this outfit without feeling like too overdone. But I actually think that this might be my favorite outfit out of all of them. So we'll end there on a good finale. It's actually Mother's Day today. So I probably will wear this out. So you guys might've already seen this. 
my last vlog, but that's okay. All right, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you guys have been curious for some outfit ideas about ways to style the denim maxi skirt trend, I hope that this video was helpful. Sorry, you guys are shaking. Leo has decided that the tripod is the best place for him to lay down right now. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know which outfit was your favorite, but I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon again in my next video. Bye.